Hello, and welcome to this new video. This video will be different from what I usually post. In this video, I'm going to install and review Windows XP Tablet PC Edition. It's a different version of Windows XP, designed for tablets and pen-based input devices, as the name suggests. The specific version I will be testing is Windows XP Tablet PC Edition 2005, with its latest service pack 3. First off, my apologies for the weird resolution. I had difficulties setting up OBS on this machine, which is why it looks so odd. Luckily, with the magic of editing, it should look decent enough. For anyone that wants to try this edition, I will leave the download link in the description. The ISO size is 712 megabytes, which honestly isn't that big. The installation process is sped up, but while we wait I'll explain what I'm going to test and take a look at. Obviously, I'll install the OS. Then we'll take a look at the operating system itself, and what makes it different from the standard Windows XP editions. I will also install the Samsung theme, just for fun, as I've never taken a look at it. This theme originates the fake longhorn sounds. In general, TPC edition is not too different from standard Windows XP. The main difference is the OS flag and some programs that are added. Even on the setup screen, it shows Windows XP Professional as the OS. But additionally, the handwriting abilities for Windows were introduced in this version, which deserves some credit. Tablet PC Edition's RTM originally released on the 7th of November 2002, with TPC 2005 being available as an OEM version and a service pack update. TPC 2005 released in August of 2004. The NT version is still 5.1, the same as XP. Its end of life was also on the same date as XP. The code name for TPC's beta was different though, being Lone Star. But alright, I've blabbered for long enough now. It's time to look at the OS itself. I wonder if the OS has more to discover than the setup. On the OOBE, there is an on-screen keyboard, which is not present on default in the standard XP editions. For the rest, the OOBE looks and functions the exact same as other XP editions. For some reason I could not get this thing to activate. I guess it's just because Microsoft shut down their servers a long time ago. There's the beautiful startup sound. Now, I will first test a few things, and then I will try to update the OS using legacy update. Starting off with some basic settings and programs, I'm just gonna go through the OS. I will speed it up again as the full recording is very long. One thing you might instantly notice, is that clear type is enabled on default. This is not the case with other Windows XP editions. I suppose this is for tablet screens and their resolutions. Oddly enough, the shipped version of IE is IE6. This is notable, because this specific version with SP3 released after IE7 was released. The Winver and System Properties dialogs show us the full build string and OS flag, including the copyright dates. It seems this service pack update released around 2007, alongside the other XP versions SP3, which confirms my IE7 point. The classic Windows XP Tour is present, and it functions perfectly fine. Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft, the new version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. Best for business. The main programs that are added are Get Going with Tablet PC, Sticky Notes, Tablet PC Tutorials, Windows Journal and apparently Inkball 2. Sticky Notes and Windows Journal are standard programs built into Windows, starting with Windows Vista. This way, Windows does not require many different editions, and it clears confusion for consumers. Let's go over the programs now. Get Going with Tablet PC is just a HTM file that opens in Internet Explorer, and it gives you an option for a link with tutorials for beginners. This link is dead though, as clicking on it just results in an error page. Tablet PC Tutorials is a tour program that introduces you to tablet PCs and its controls. It actually thinks my mouse is a pen, but as long as it works, it works. Sticky Notes is not Sticky Notes. It's fully based on pen input, and it's kinda like a notepad, but you can use it with your pen. But again, 
My mouse still does the job. The theming on this looks very different, as the title bar is orange, like the buttons. The minimize animation still has the lunar theme though. Windows Journal is just like how it is on Vista and above, but this is just where it's born. Nothing too fancy. As with Windows Journal, Inkball is the same on here as on Vista, but again, this is its origin. So what else can we explore? Well, basically nothing. The rest is just Windows XP Professional. The easiest way to test this is by opening remote desktop connection. All I can do is apply the Samsung theme and update the system with legacy update, and that'll be it for this video. Here's the theme. It actually has an interesting way to install, because normally in Windows 7 for example, you would just apply a theme and everything applies on its own. On XP you had to run installers like these, so everything including wallpapers and sounds would automatically apply. The sounds are very nice. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but if you want to try it or hear them, I will leave links in the description. Here is what the login screen and theme application look like. As far as updating goes, I installed legacy update, and it seems to work fine. It just takes very long. It appears it quietly updated to IE8, oh well. Anyways, I will wrap it up for now. I don't know if I will make more videos like this, but if you did enjoy it, let me know. Thank you for watching, until the next one, goodbye.